Hello and welcome to Mind Scanners. This is a first impressions of the game that comes out in a few days on 20th of May 2021. Now, there's a very interesting thing about this game. Uh, the developers that created Yes, Your Grace, they worked on that game and they are now publishing this one. So that makes me extremely excited because Albeit they may not have developed this one because this is developed by a different studio. But anything to do with those guys, I'm all for it. It's really, really good. I love Yes, Your Grace, and I'm hopeful that Mind Scanners is going to be a relatively similar experience, albeit in a very different sort of, uh, sort of setting. Because this is cybernetic sci-fi and all manner of other things it is a dystopian simulation rpg and if you'd like to check out the game there is a link down below congratulations you have been accepted to the mind scanners program enclosed is the needed equipment for the job this includes a radio phone through which you will receive further instructions the constructor thanks you for your service for normality and the mind, the structure. <laughs> Greetings, Mind Scanner. Your duty is to diagnose and treat anomalous citizens of the structure. For each completed treatment, you will receive 15 kapok. If you can't pay maintenance at the end of each day, you will be exiled from the structure and thrown into the outer zone. This map of the structure shows citizens who have shown signs of strange behavior. Look, a citizen is in need of attention. Go pay him a visit. All right, here we go. Rutka, Rutka Hoof is his name. And as you can see, Rutka is a true nature enthusiast. He knows every tree in the structure and is the chief conservator of Triangle Park. Lately, he has become more connected with nature. In fact, he believes he is an oak tree. All right, go to patient. Swoosh, swoosh, he says. This citizen has already been scanned. His insanity amount and insanity types are displayed here. I assume this is the insanity amount right there, level 3 or something like that? Start treatment and remove his insanity before time runs out. Alright, so let's do treatment. Okay, I have no, I I have no idea what I'm actually doing. Okay, well, I've, I've already done one, I guess. Ah, uh, let me see now. This one? Yep. There we go. And now we just need to do one more. Bit of a puzzle game, bit of a puzzle game with this. Okay, let me have a look. This one? There we go. Treatment complete. Plus 15 Kapok. I'm not an oak tree, no. That's sort of silly, isn't it? I guess I spent too much time with vegetation. I'd better go visit my friends again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good job, Mind Scanner. No more citizens require your attention today. Get some rest and continue tomorrow. Bear in mind, this is a pure first impressions, and I have not played the game ever before because they basically throw you straight in, and I had no chance to get to a main menu or anything like that. So I really wanted to get a very fresh perspective on what is going on with this game because I'm extremely excited for it. I love the whole multiple endings thing, and um, if it's anything like Yes, Your Grace, where which gave you huge amounts of curveballs in the story and twists and turns along the way, emotional roller coaster sort of thing, then I am I am all for that. Anyway, there we go. We have maintenance minus seven, but that's absolutely fine because we have twenty-five at the moment, and we now have eighteen. 
Your daughter is trapped in a room. You try to unlock the room, but the key breaks. She screams. Yeah, there was um, a couple of text text bits at the beginning that told me something about my daughter being kidnapped or disappearing or something like that. And I assume that uh, that is what we need to do. So basically the overarching goal of our character in the game is to try and discover where our daughter is. And maybe, as, maybe by working as a mind scanner, we might get closer to the truth about this mystery. At least that's all I can kind of think of because, um, as I said, I had no idea that the game was going to start almost immediately. My bad, but all right, let's have a look here. Three citizens require your attention. Choose a citizen and perform a mind scan to unravel their insanity. Remember, you take full responsibility for their diagnosis. Okay, so let's have a look here. What about this guy? One of the three founders of Delta Corp, Florian is a specialist in senses, but lately his wife has expressed concern about his behavior, describing him as detached. And we have the ability to travel there. I think we'll probably do that. Let's travel there. Um, I mean, we could also, I mean, we could basically go to all of them if we want to, but let's just take a quick look at the other people as well. Meyev is a guru, a wise and old cyborg. Children receive lessons from her as a form of school, but she refuses the definition. Parents are worried that her lessons are moving in a sinister direction. All right, and then we have Mr. Johnny Day here. In his youth, he showed great potential as the youngest ever winner of the quiz show Flip the Switch. Lack of this simulation has made him erratic. All right. Let's uh, let's do let's do Florian. Why not? He's um, he's kind of the closest. As you can see, the time does reduce very slightly every single time you travel to a certain place. And he says, "Welcome, Doctor. I sensed your arrival hours ago. Let's begin." All right. So let's mind scan him first of all. Okay, Doctor. So I'll tell you what I see on the screen. Hope you can make sense of it. Let's begin. A record. Synth-based move music. My LP collection includes 2,473 examples of this genre. I should throw them out. There's no point in listening to music. There are plenty of sounds around us to analyze. All right. Uh, sound designer? He, I mean, is he? Yes. I mean, come on. There are plenty of sounds around us to analyze. So sound designer. Is that not correct? Looks a bit like my brother. He sacrificed his life for Zensum, our first product. That product made 1,733 times more than he did at the time. So it was a clever decision, economy-wise. He sacrificed his life. Dangerous products. Well... No, that's also wrong. Okay, I am terrible at this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Please, Doctor, skip this one. I can taste the sewage water. Extreme taste buds. Uh, <laughs> demanding? Uh. Mom, always so worried about me. So many tears. So much struggle to make one kid happy. She was a sweetheart, but she did not sense the world around her. Wasted away her life for me. Hmm... Am I seriously not getting any of these? Really? Okay. Oh dear. My wife Allison, she is crying. She cries often. And 0.87% of her tears is salt. Lack of empathy. There we go. What? I finally got one. I finally got one, everyone. Oh, I... Whew. Okay. An endless desert. A lone cactus is piercing the red sand a couple of kilometers away. A single flower sprouts from it. Even though it's so far away, I can clearly smell the sweetness of the flower. High sense of smell? Yes. Millions of people walking the streets of the structure, not paying attention to anything around them. They are blind. They are deaf. They have no taste. We need them to wake up. We need to heighten their senses. Hmm. Idealistic? Yes. There we go. We finally did it. And we wasted huge amounts of time, by the way. 
Heightened senses come with a price. Though Florian wouldn't hurt a fly, he constantly hurts people's feelings. There is no ego egotistic reason behind his lack of empathy. His emotions have simply disappeared. Well, he is quite obviously insane because if his emotions have, have just disappeared, surely. Surely, I mean, if it's a, if it's a case of, you know, insane or sane, I would assume he wouldn't hurt a fly. He constantly hurts people's feelings. Hmm. I'm actually wondering whether there is actually a reason for me to even take this guy in. Shall we just say he's insane and then just see what's going on? Oh, he has five. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's actually kind of insane. Okay. Awaiting treatment. There we go. So he has, he has two of those. Okay. Fantastic. Initializing insanity panel. Initializing stress bar. Bear in mind that there is a stress bar. So if you do take too long, um, then uh, they're going to uh, potentially die. I'm not entirely sure. Ready for treatment. Okay, so let's see what I have to do this time. I sense some truth in your decision, Doctor, but I also sense destruction and misery in your devices. Be careful with my mind. It is worth more than you could ever fathom. Alright, I'll try my best. Your psychotron treatment device seems to be unstable. Avoid the red areas or, will you, or you will stress your patient. Oh, that's great. If you want to develop another device, use the left panel to access the device manager which is over here. Aha! Choose a device that matches the insanity type of your patient. Okay, so the insanity type. I have no idea. This one? This one? Wait, insanity? How, how do I tell? How do I tell? I guess one of these, right? We can develop it, but it's going to take 55... Are you serious that it's going to take 55... No way. Surely that's way too expensive. Well, I suppose this is actually quite good because it is eventually going to be used later down the line. Removes up to three in a row of a sanity type of this. Okay. Tidy up the mind by locating, counting, and eliminating threatening patterns. Count these symbols. Okay. Input the correct quantity present. Okay. Sure. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, let's let's use that, and then, well, we're spending everything on this one guy. I mean, really, I think this is a bit much. Okay, so, what about this one? This is random. Okay, uh, let's do let's do this. Can I can, do I have to do this one as well, or can I just do can I just do one of them? Oh, we can actually... Oh, no, we can do drugs, too? We can do drugs and special? Okay, I have no idea. Okay. Well, uh... So, do I have to actually unlock that other thing? Maybe I do. No, there we go. I think I can probably just do that. There we go. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. This is going to take a while. Okay. Um... Alright, here we go. Okay, uh, I have no idea. Can you even count? Uh, no, I can't actually. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I understand it now. What? One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, yeah, this is not actually even found right here, so. Uh, I think I actually need a different device. That That is, that is the problem here. Yeah, I should have probably reset that. Okay, well, the time is up. I did actually do okay but the, the, yeah as i've said before i am very very much needing to uh have um additional time with the devices wow okay yeah this the, uh, i gotta say this is very complex i am not very good at puzzle games in general 
And let's have a look. We are keeping your daughter at the Institute for further examination. Letting her return home would be dangerous for her and everyone around her. She is doing well. You have nothing to worry about. She is an interesting subject. You should be proud. All right. Okay, so, yeah. So we can obviously do this guy again if we want to. Let me just put that there. So we can actually develop something else as well if we want to. So let's actually do that. Let's uh, let's do let's do this one. Okay, so they actually do tell you how to use these devices, but I just can't understand them. Maybe it's maybe, maybe it's because I'm stupid. It's probably that. Okay, so find the sweet spots. Confirm sweet spots. Okay, that that seems relatively simple to me. Remo removes up to three in a sanity type. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. And then we have the qu the queen to fire, which is this. So press and hold to search. Count these symbols, whichever it may display, and then input the correct quantity. I mean, it sounds easy, right? Sounds easy, but I think it's a lot harder um, than maybe I think, or may you know, who knows? I don't know. Maybe I'm just terrible. That could be it. All right, um, shall we do this guy again? I mean, we're going to be done relatively quickly with this fellow because... Oh no, he's actually moved now. So he's 70 away now. She's only 30 away. Okay, so let's move to her then. Well, this might be problematic. As I predicted, you came today. I wonder what part of the future your machine will let me see. Future? Yes, sometimes I see glimpses of the future. I am wise, yes, but these visions are the main reason I share my thoughts. People need to know. The children of the structure need to learn about their future. All right, so we can mind scan. The system that maintains the structure's supply of Kapok, such a frail thing. Hmm. Chaos could happen planning a heist. I mean, are you serious planning a heist? No way. No, no, I was doing that literally just for science. I see. The wall collapsed. What kept our people in a closed loop is now open to the world. I say go with it. Tear those walls down. Let us breathe real air. Ah, uh, critical of boundaries. There we go. Yes, I did that correctly this time. A girl, your daughter, I believe, in a containment unit made of a strange type of alloy. You should get her out. She is dangerous in the hands of the structure. Mm, I'm going to say against the structure. Yes. The flow of Zygnoka. We must be in control of this power. It should never dominate us. Everyone should know the feeling of Zygnoka traversing your brain. Provocative. No. I mean, sh uh, uh, I, I, how am I supposed to know if that's gibberish or not? I don't know. I see generations of failures, one faulty version following the other. We should all seek out the next upgrade. We should always become better. Advance evolution. I see the fate of the structure, thousands of dead people lying in the streets. It does not have to be so. Claims to see future. Yes. There we go. All right. Getting a little better at this. Okay. So I only had one wrong answer that time around. Bear in mind that this is exactly how it went with Yes, Your Grace as well. In that game, I started off very, very slowly, failed a whole bunch, but eventually overcame my, uh, you know, disadvantage because <laughs> of, uh, you know, uh, prior stupidity, and, uh, you know, then I actually did all right, so let's have a look here. Believes she can see the future. This leads to a loss of ego, which leads to a loss of personal responsibility. Her teachings are a threat to the community. I will say that she's insane then. Okay, so she, uh, oh, she, oh dear. Okay, yeah, this might be problematic. Right. Okay, so I, I now have to decide something. Thank you for showing me your instrument. Interesting machine. Very enlightening. Let's proceed to the next part, shall we? Okay, so she has these. So this is obviously the one for the right, the one on the right. This is the one for the one on the left. And I assume this one can probably do... I think this one's going to be alright. So 
Um, how do I actually... See, I still don't even know how to actually start there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's do... Let's do... Um, can I can I do any of these? Okay, let's do treatment, and then we'll just start. So let's just start this one. Let's do this one first. Okay, so... We need to do... This one. And there we have it. I did it. Whew. Okay, so I don't know whether you noticed that, but there were red areas on the little radial, uh, you know, circular little thing there. And basically what we had to do was make it so that the charge up of the energy would not reach that red area. Because if it did reach the red area, then um, it was going to overload and it was going to cause more stress or whatever the case may be. And that would have been awful. So now that the treatment has now been completed... Hmm, your treatment worked. My visions seem to have gone away. I did not predict this. Perhaps my visions were delusional after all. Though I must say, seeing the future was kind of handy. Well, personally, I, 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 I kind of agree with her on, uh, on a certain, uh, in a certain way. But um, yeah, in general, can I not, can I not go to the next day? Because it's gonna take, I mean, it's gonna take me way too long to get anywhere else, right? I mean, I can travel to here, but as you can see, I can't travel. So, ah, there we go. I can just end the day. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. We also have some science here. What does science do? I assume maybe unlock some stuff? I suppose we'll see. Do you want to end the day? Yes. There we go. I wish we could take the time with us, to be honest. We know that the structure is keeping your daughter from you. We can help you, and we believe you can help us as well. Just remember to take good care of your patients. Don't break the people, break the structure. Moonrise is uh, who that is from, or who that is from. I'm not entirely sure if it's an organization or a person. All right, losing another seven kapok. I'm not a big fan of that, thank you. Greetings, mind scanners have recently been contacted by the terrorist group. Yes, as I thought, it is indeed a group of people known as Moonrise. These peaky people seek to destroy our society and must be stopped. Have they contacted you? <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. Okay, if you receive a message from them or any suspicious messages, you are obliged to tell us. We will make sure to protect you for normality and the mind. All right, so yeah, <laughs> uh, being a little bit, uh, being a little bit sneaky, you know, being a little bit sneaky, because that's what that's what we do. I think that seems pretty good. Okay, so let let me actually just see what where I have to go now. So. Let's have a look. Oh, he's 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 extremely close to us right now. So that's absolutely fantastic. I'm actually thinking I might unlock something additional here, because uh, I I mean I guess I could use these two, these two treatments to um to actually treat him right now. So that's actually not that big a deal. So maybe I don't need to worry so much. And I have no idea what these guys actually need. So I guess I'll just do this fellow first. Doctor, let me look into your right eye, and let me look deep. Okay, so we get- oh dear. Is he literally gonna attack us? I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna trust him, alright? He stares at your right eye, a strange sensation, as if tiny grains flow through your eye and into your brain. Fascinating, you have a natural gift, a gift of recognition. With only two drops of Silidrin, I can strengthen your powers. It's yours for the price of three Kapok. Ooh, yeah, now, okay, so here's the thing. 
Um, if you'd actually like to see the Yes Your Grace playlist, I personally think it's one of the best RPG uh, choice based games that I've ever played. And um, as I say, it's a huge emo emotional roller coaster. But if you'd like to see that, there's a link down below. Highly recommend it. And these are the kinds of choices that I would face in that game. And I basically almost always, unless it was quite obviously a uh, an evil fellow, I almost always paid the price for these kinds of things to see what would happen. And I'm actually intrigued by this. So I'm actually going to pay. Florian takes out a small vial and lets two drops of purple liquid fall into your right eye. Your eye stings a bit. There. Now keep your eye open for 10 seconds. Oh, I gained 100 time. Oh, now that's cool. All right, so I paid three Kapok for 100 additional seconds, which in my opinion is actually fantastic. So I'm pretty happy with this. Anyway, let's... Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, I know you don't. I'm sorry. I have to do this. Oh, wrong device? What? No? Okay, I'll have to use this one. There we go. Okay, so what do I do again? What do I do here? Uh, how, how, how do I... Oh, there we go. done all right so obviously it is a very um <laughs> insanity inducing experience to select these options and let me just tell you basically okay i i obviously figure out figured out how to do it now what you need to do is you need to move those little dials so that the little <laughs> i don't even want to i don't i don't know what to call them but there's little nodules or little uh, mounds of whatever plastic or flesh if you want to be morbid about it um for them to jiggle around and the faster they jiggle the closer you are to the sweet spot which is fantastic so that's exactly what i did and now we have completed the treatment on florian doctor i can feel again ha what good are senses if you can't feel anything in your heart i i'm so sorry allison everyone I've been acting like an asshole, and I didn't see it. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, well, there you go. Fantastic. Okay, so that was that was very good. We, we actually did a great job there. Okay, so I'm not going to be unlocking any additional devices just yet, because I have no idea what um, Johnny Day actually requires. But we're going to head over there and see. What are you? A mind scanner? Here to test me, I suppose. Well, I've been tested before. Let's get this show started. Okay, let's mind scan him. It's a bag of Whizzle's sugar frosted toolbox. The hammers are licorice, the drill is chocolate. Me and my old brother had to pick one at a time. No peeking. Excited by randomness. The trap door. It triggered when anyone got a series of questions wrong. Down they went. Obviously, that was never me. Ah. Uh, winner. Dark clouds, they don't look too friendly. Depending on which way the wind is blowing, I'd say an 85% chance of rain. Hmm. 85%. Meteorologist, it could be precise estimation, or it could be meteorologist. There we go. Yeah, we're getting better at this, all right? We're getting better at this now, so at least this doesn't waste our time or make him more stressed out or anything. In Johnny's mind, everything has become a probability game of win or lose, an admirable world theory which nevertheless works poorly in real life. He's obviously insane as a result. All right. Oh, wow. He has nine insanity. Okay, now this is going to be extremely difficult, in my opinion. 
All right. Well, we're going to see what we can do with that. Insane? I don't think you know what you're talking about. I'm one of the few people who see things clearly around here. Can we try again? Please? No. All right. Okay, so let me have a look here. Okay, so I already have this. I already have this. And I just need this one. So let me see if I can get that one. Ah, this is this one here. Removes up to three in a row. Returns Zygnoka charged audio waves through the patient. Let's develop this. Okay, so I have no idea. Turn to match sequence. Run sequence. Okay, yeah. You see, these, these descriptions, I think they're purposefully very vague. They don't really they don't really give you a good idea of what to actually expect when the game starts, which is perfectly fine with me, but it does require a little bit of on-the-spot thinking, which I have to say is rather uncomfortable for someone like me who is a bit slow. So let's have a look. Let's see whether we can do this. All right, uh, we'll start with the... I have no idea what to start with, actually. Let's start with this one. Okay, uh, let's see. One, two, three, three? Really? I, I can't count, apparently. I can't count, yes. Okay, what about this one? One, two, two. There we go. Okay, that was actually fine then. All right, so... Wrong device. Okay, let's do this one now. Okay, so the sweet spot should be relatively easy to get. This one. There we go. Easy enough. And now, this one. Alright. Okay. Oh, that was not good. Okay, I did that one. Okay. Wrong device. Okay, so this one's the next one. Okay, so we already can see one, two, three, four, five. Okay, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you go. Whew. Okay, I... Um, I, I was under pressure there. I was under pressure. It may not seem like it, but obviously I was I was kind of shutting up to try and concentrate as best I could. But there you go. Treatment complete. 15 Kapok. Very, very happy about that. Now, bear in mind that if I had not spent the three Kapok to increase my time from Florian, which, by the way, I had no idea about. I had no idea what it was going to do. Then I wouldn't have been able to do this. I would have been out of time and then I wouldn't have gotten paid for this treatment. But there you go. We now have 37 Kapok, which is actually quite nice. Things are so complicated, I suppose there are no easy answers, but maybe it's okay to get them wrong once in a while. Thank you. All right, there we go. So now we can go over to her, but as you can see, the travel is going to take that long. But here's the thing. We can scan her. We can analyze what her problems are. And then when we have some time next, we can actually do something... Uh, we can do something with her. Her theories have often been questioned, but it's getting difficult to distinguish madness from method. She is the faculty leader at the university's psychology department. Interesting. Hi. I seem to have developed a system of hallucinations. As these, as these things go, it's very difficult to know where reality starts and the hallucinations end. Are you real? I will say... That's a... Mm, that's a very existential question. Because on the one hand, how real is anyone else outside of your own consciousness? How real is consciousness, you see? It's, uh, it's these kinds of questions that are just like, okay, I have no idea. I'm, that, yeah. Yes, I'll say yes for the sake of this. Hmm, okay. 
You're a mind scanner, I see. I was afraid this might happen. I appreciate the concern, but I have this under control. My insanity is self-induced. It is part of my research. You can leave now. No, I will stay. Mind scan. The neocortex stimulator. It's almost never used in practice these days. I knew that if I used it on myself, it could have the desired effect. Forced hallucination. Voluntary psychosis. I mean, if it's voluntary and she knows that she is insane, then surely that is not not a bad thing. But she is actually insane. If if it comes down to a, you know, a binary, you know, one versus zero sort of thing, then um, well, it's quite obviously actually happening for her that she is in, in, indeed insane, and maybe we need to help her. The first mind scanner's research group. It's where we came up with your job. I left very quickly when I realized how they saw it as a mechanical problem. Oh, uh, okay. Skeptical of tech. This reminds me of a week ago when all the animals came to me. All the birds and lizards of the outer zone. They gathered around me. What a beautiful sight it was. False, perhaps, but beautiful. Sees things. I mean, she's not really doing anyone harm by having hallucinations, but I'm not entirely sure. Out of empathy for the afflicted and to further her research, Simmons has subjected herself to self-induced psychosis. However deliberate, her hallucinatory state is unacceptable for a faculty leader. Hmm, that is actually true, so I will say insane. Oh, 12. Yeah, that's going to be very, very difficult. Okay, so she is obviously awaiting treatment. That is absolutely fine. I will have to end the day, though. Like, I don't know that. The question is not whether someone is insane, but how dangerous they are for themselves or society. So what's next? Will you brainwash me with those primitive machines? Um, well, uh, that's the point. I'm actually a little bit um, now wondering about that. Because, sure, these people might be a little bit unhinged, but aren't we all? No? I mean, people, on the whole, are maybe a little bit unhinged sometimes. No one is... Well, very few people, in my opinion, these days are truly normal, quote-unquote. Right? Is that just me? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe those are just my thoughts. But anyway, let us now end the day. Can I do that? Because I don't have enough time to do anything, basically, so... Can I, can I develop this? Can I develop any of these? I mean, what do I actually need to do here? I need this one. But obviously, I can't do anything with that. So... There is nothing to... I mean, do they really want me to, to, to try this with four seconds remaining? I mean, I guess I could, sure. But it's going to take me much longer. As you can see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was that was a little bit um, a little bit too fast. Okay, the citizen requires further treatment. Of course it does. Of course. Thank you. End of day four. Maintenance is seven. Kapok, of course. I now have thirty, which is actually not too bad. And there we go. We now have two hundred seconds remaining. Message from Alison Bartok. My Florian is back. I've missed him so much, and now he's back. I don't understand how you did this, but thank you. Thank you so much. I want to give you something, so I sent you a free box of Florian's best product, Intellex. These pills will boost your intelligence. The only side effect is a couple of hours of fatigue. Swallow pills. You swallow all five pills with a glass of water. You immediately feel sharp, and new ideas blossom in your mind. Plus 25 science. After the quick rush, you begin feeling tired. You lie down and wake up a couple of hours later. Minus 50 time. Alright, I actually don't mind that so much because I personally feel like the um, the woman, uh, Simmons, that we just spoke to, she is going to take a long time to uh, cure, quote-unquote, and I think I'll probably need about, probably about 120 seconds or so for her, uh, if she hasn't moved location, that is. So, losing 50 for that, I think, is okay. 
Keep your eyes open. When the time is right, we will talk again. Accept any birthday invitations. And that is from Moonrise once again. All right, so she is 80. Okay, she's very... Oh, they're both extremely far away. Okay, well, that's obviously going to be a little bit annoying. But that just means that I will be able to um, do some research here. So she obviously has this one, so I can develop this. There we go. And what does this do? Okay, so let's have a look. Locate thought, erase thought, skip thought. Do not erase good thoughts. Oh no. That oh oh that's oh that's tricky. That is that is tricky. I'm I'm not I'm mm, I'm a bit worried about that. Okay, so I unfortunately do not have enough to go anywhere else. So I will have to do something else here. So let's have a look. Mm, I can't do either of these, as you can quite clearly tell. I don't have enough of either. But I think that's actually going to be it for this episode of Mind Scanners. If you would like to see more from me in this game, then by all means let me know down in the comments. And otherwise, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.